Who goes there? Hey, Israel. It's just me and Pudge. What's the secret password? Skull and crossbones. All right, mates. Come aboard, but step lively. Pudge says he's ready for his initiation into the Legion of the Black Pirates, Israel. Biggest step a man can ever take in his whole life. I don't know if he's ready or not. I'm ready, fellas. I'm ready. What do I have to do? Well, we have a very secret initiation ceremony. All sorts of stuff, like being able to attend midnight meetings, tell whoppers of tall tales, but never, never break a swear to your fellow black pirate. And being able to catch ticks and goldbugs without squashing them. All kinds of stuff. Gosh. How many people you got in the black pirates? So far, just Stinky and me. Of course, we just don't let anybody in it. Let's get going to the Pike House. The Pike House? That old place is haunted. Mr. Pike is the meanest man that ever took a breath of air. And Mrs. Pike is a witch. Part of your initiation. The Pike House? Come on, Pike. Oh, come on. initiation right now. First thing, you gotta get up to that porch. Got your slingshot? Right here. You gotta throw three rocks against the front door. Right, Israel? Right. It's gotta be three, Pudge. That's the rule. <laughs> but what if old Lady Pike comes out? You wanna be a black pirate, don't you? Then get going. Pudge, wait, wait. some time to find you, partner. You gonna invite me in? Well, uh, Nettie's asleep. I hate to wake her. Well, let's not waste time, Zack. I come for what's due me. Fast move, Zack. You just take that pistol out of your belt and put it down on the floor in front of me. Real slow light. Back up, Zack. Into the house. Boy, did you see that? Something mighty big sprawling inside that house. Wish my pa was back from his hunting trip. Ah, uh, the black pirates can handle this. I think we better get Pudge's initiation over with right now. Gosh, fellas, I don't know. Sure is spooky around here. I tell you, I ain't got it. Did you hear that? Sounds like they're having a brawl. 
got to find out what's happening inside there. Look, fellas, couldn't we have the initiation some other time, huh? My ma's going to give me an awful whooping if she finds out I'm gone at this hour of the night. I say let's get the initiation over with. I'm for that. What do I have to do? Spy, Pudge. Got to learn how to spy in order to become a black pirate. Go up to that front window and peep in it. Why do I have to do that? Israel just told you why, stupid. We got to know what's happening in there. Black pirates are the best spies there is. Well, I don't think it's fair. I bet you guys never looked in the pike's window. Well, we wouldn't be afraid to. Then I dare you to do it now. I D-double dare you. I'll do it, if you'll do it first. A black pirate can't run out on a dare, Israel. Especially a D-double dare. I know, I know, I know. All right, as long as you guys keep walking. Right I'll just kill you both. Find it myself. You didn't come out here to hide and change your name for nothing. After us, too. Me and Nettie. We've been running. Well, you can stop running. Because I'm going to unburden you with that gold. For the last time, Zack. Sam, no! Well, Makes sense, Sam. If you kill me... Nobody saw me come here. Nobody will see me leave. I tell you, I ain't got it. I always knew you for a liar. Fix something to eat. Make sure the cove is good and hot. And I want the truth, Zack, or you're gonna be less one head. Take it easy, Sam. It is the truth. British officers. They stole the gold right out from under me. There was nothing I could do about it. That's a good story, Zack. And I don't believe it. We had the gold. You suppose we'd be living like this? Well, you're smart, Zack. Smart enough to do just that. Where's that coffee? In a minute. And that gold is right here. And when I find it, I'm not only taking my share, but yours too. Well, come on, come on, pour out. Dead. <sighs> Stealing's one thing. Murder is another. It was him or us. It's just as simple as that. Now, don't follow. We're going to get caught. Why doesn't Israel get out of there while the getting's good? I don't know. Israel's a gunner. Spot him for sure. Start digging and I'll take a look. like a scared rabbit. You think he saw anything? I don't know. Might have been just a chicken thief. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. We better move the grave just in case. Yeah, now, what's this? 
kid slingshot. The Black Pirates. Cold-blooded murder. What are we gonna do? Nothing we can do tonight. It's way past midnight already. Midnight. I think the best thing for all of us to do is go home and get to bed. My mom's gonna tan my hide if she catches me. Then don't let her catch us, stupid. Let's meet at the cave tomorrow and decide what you do. Meanwhile, don't tell anybody what happened, okay? Agreed? Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Let's go. See ya. Israel Boone, I've had just about enough of your sneaking out at all hours of the night to play pirate. Now, do you realize what time it is? Yes, ma'am, but I Have just... you been to that cave again? Yes, ma'am, I don't I... want to hear any of your tall tales. I don't want to hear another word from you, for that matter. And I never, ever want to catch you out again at this hour. Is that understood? Yes, ma'am. And when your father gets home, we're going to have a talk. Do you hear? Yes, ma'am. Right now, you're going to bed. And you better be up bright and early in the morning, ready for your chores if you know what's good for you. Yes, ma'am. never worked yet. I don't know why you think it's going to work now. Stupid thing. First time. First time it worked. Kind of worked. Damn, look what it caught. Come on yeah. out, boys. Come on. Come on, fellas. Hurry up. Help me get it back up. Not now. I'm too tired. Me too. Couldn't get a whiff of sleep all night. Yeah. Same here. Hearing weird noises outside my window. I, I know someone was walking around in our front yard after I got home. Big, heavy footsteps. Like Zach Pikes. What are we gonna do? Pikes will murder us like they did the stranger if they find out it was us who saw them do it. Gosh, I'm too young to die, fellas. With my paw gone, I don't know who to tell. Mom wouldn't believe me because of all the tall tales I've been telling lately. You know how girls are anyhow. My mom would be the same way if I told her. And Pa gave me an awful wailing last time he saw me out after I was supposed to be asleep. Tell? What are you guys talking about? You just said we'd be killed by the Pikes if we tell. Now, wait a minute. There's been a murder. Somebody has to tell. And we're the only witnesses. Not me. I'm not telling. Me neither. I vote we make a pact to keep Mom and tell nobody ever. I vote that way, too. But wait a minute. That's that... two against one. We'll do the Black Pirate swear. Let off? You got it, Israel. The Black Pirates voted. What do we have to do? Stand up. Now put on your patch. Okay. Give me your hand. Are you blood? Mm -hmm. Okay, close your eyes. Put your thumbs together. And repeat after Israel. I is real boom. I punch Farmingham. I stinky brown. Do suddenly swear on my honor to stay mum 
and to keep this sacred blood swear for the rest of my natural life. And if I don't, may I have my tongue cut off with a poisonous sword. May I be boiled in toad oil. And may I dangle by my toes over a snake pit in July. Worse than that, be thrown out of the Black Pirates Club forever and ever. Do solemnly swear to do whatever it was you just said forever and ever. Agreed. Forever and ever. Here. Now we gotta burn this to really seal the oath. I'll go get the brush. Israel Boone. You looking for something? Maybe this is what you want. Your slingshot isn't it, boy? All the boys have them. Ah. Well, you can tell your friends I found it. And I'll be glad to return it to its rightful owner. Yes, sir. You must have dropped it last night over at his house. He knows it was us that saw him. We're as good as dead right now. I don't think so. I think he's just trying to scare us. Well, he's doing a good job of it. What are we going to do? I think we should go home. Maybe in a few days he'll forget all about us. Yeah. Maybe he won't bother us if we don't bother him. Whatever you do, fellas, don't tell anybody. My pa promised me a new jackknife for my birthday. What's that got to do with it? Well, if I get killed... Paul will probably give the knife to my brother. And I don't think I could stand that. I'm headed home. Me too. Mum's the word. Agreed. 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 of your dinner. Now, is something bothering you? No, ma'am. He said I just don't feel well. Well, is there something you want to tell me about? No, ma'am. Israel, I'm sorry if I've been hard on you while your father's been away. But you've been impossible with those wild stories and those disappearances in the middle of the night. Now, you're going to have to change your whole attitude. Do you understand that? Oh, yes, ma'am. Can I be excused? All right, but I want you to fetch me some water from the well before you start your school lessons. Yes, ma'am.
Who's out there? Ooh, who's out there? Is that Pike? Israel, there's no one out there. And what would Mr. Pike be doing here? He's after me. Because I saw him and Mrs. Pike murder man in their house. Israel Boone, I told you. This isn't a story, Ma. I saw him do it. They buried the body. Stinky and Pudge were with me. They saw it, too. It's true, Ma. I'm sorry to disturb you at this hour, Sarah, but it's very serious. Israel claims that Pudge, Stinky, and he saw Mr. and Mrs. Pike murder a stranger in their house and then bury the body. Homer, get in here. Hello, Mrs. Boone. Oh, Hi, Israel. Mrs. Boone has some questions to ask you, and I want you to tell the truth for a change, or I swear I'll tan your hide so red you won't be able to sit down for a week. Now, Homer, this is very important. Do you know anything at all about a murder in the Pike House? Homer, answer Mrs. Boone. No, ma'am. I don't know nothing about any murder. Stinky! Israel, be quiet. Are you absolutely sure, Homer? Yes, ma'am. I'm as sure as I can be. <sighs> murder? No, ma'am. I don't know anything about it. Besides, my pa would skin me alive if I was ever out that late. That's truth for sure. A tall tale is one thing, Israel, but lying and involving your friends in it is another. I just don't know what's gotten into you, but I'm through talking. You know, your father will be home in the morning, and I'm going to let him settle this. In the meantime, you are not to leave this room for any reason. Good to be home. How was the trip? Well, I got enough meat for all season. Wonderful. Where's Israel? He's in his room. Pretty day like this? Is he sick? No. Dan, that boy has been impossible since you left. Still telling wild stories, only worse than ever. Oh, he'll grow out of it, Becky. It's just a stage he's going through. Now, I agreed with you before, but when innocent people are hurt, I draw the line. He concocted some wild story that Mr. and Mrs. Pike murdered a man in their home. And the story's all over Boonesboro. Has he explained why? He hasn't explained anything. In fact, he keeps insisting that it's really true. That is, until I confronted Homer Brown and Clarence Farmingham, and they both denied it. Well, it's not like Israel to carry make believe this far. Maybe I better have a talk with him. I'm gonna get just a hello. I uh, I hear we've had a few problems since I've been gone. Your mother's very upset over your behavior, especially concerning that tale about the Pikes. But it's not a tale, Pa. Well, imagination's a wonderful thing, son, but you can't let it get away from you. Sometimes, before you know it. Innocent people get hurt. And I know you never intended to hurt the Pikes, but they've been hurt. And I think you owe them an apology. An apology? They're murderers, and that's the plain truth. They're doing an apology from you. The tale you 
told about them caused them a great deal of embarrassment. Now, you have nothing to be ashamed of in admitting you were wrong. I told a few stories when I was a boy. Some of them were pretty good, too. Now, I want you to come with me right now over at the Pikes, and we'll apologize. We'll get that over with. No, Pa. They'll kill me like they killed a stranger. Israel, I'm not going to argue with you. You'll do as I say. Yes, sir. talk with you and Mr. Pike for a minute? Zach's not here. Well, then may I step in for a moment and talk with you? Well, what do you want? My wife and I feel that we owe you and Mr. Pike an apology for the story my boy made up. I just want you to know that he's going to be punished for his behavior. We just want you to know that we feel badly about what's happened. Israel, have you got something to say to Miss Pike? Israel? I'm not going to apologize. Leave him be. I wouldn't accept an apology from the little brat anyway. Him and the mother brats that come by to throw stones at my windows and to point their fingers and giggle and laugh like we were some kind of freaks. Well, you'd better keep him away from here from now on, or he'll really be sorry. Israel. You won't be the one that's sorry. You're witching your mother. Israel. I'm sorry, Miss Biden. <laughs> You heard? Everything. I think it's time that boy had an accident. One killing's enough. Maybe we ought to clear out. And had Dan LeBoon wonder why we left? Why, that boy of his would have him digging out there in no time. Well, Sam could have told somebody about the gold. They could come looking for him. Uh, he was too greedy to let anyone else in on his share. The gold's are as neat as can be. All we got to do is get rid of Israel Boone. <laughs> running through here a while ago and went straight to his room. I tried to talk to him, but he wouldn't even answer me. Well, he was rude to Mrs. Pike, and when I asked him to apologize, he refused to do it. Dan, I feel very strongly about this. Now, you've got to do something more than just talk to the boy. Something has to be done to snap him out of it. Papa, he's out there. Zach Pack, he comes again. Now, hold on and calm down. I saw him! I saw him! Where did you see him? At my window! Dan, this is nonsense. Now, he claimed the same thing once before. <laughs> well, howdy there, Mr. Boone. Come in, Mr. Pike. Thank you. I don't want to take much of your time. Hello, Mrs. Boone. Israel. I just wanted to stop by and thank you and Mrs. Boone for your courtesy. We were pretty upset by that story your boy started, but it's nice to know you cared enough about it to apologize like you did. Only, uh, I wish you wouldn't be too hard on him. We know he didn't mean no harm. Israel, why don't you come over here and shake hands with Mr. Pike and let's settle this thing here and now. Sorry, 
Mr. Pike, just not himself lately. Spring fever has got him, maybe. But like I say, don't be too hard on him. Good night, Mr. Pike. Thank you. Dan, that was the last straw. Israel, we've carried this just about as far as we're going to. You've hurt people. And it's time you grew up and admitted your mistake. But everything I said was the truth, Pa. The boys don't back up your story, son. Now, you and your friends have tormented and played pranks on the Pikes ever since they've come to Boonesboro. But she looks like a witch. I want you just to lay there and think a while about all the bad things you and your friends have done to the Pikes. Things you should be ashamed of. I want you to think about the cruel things you've done to poor people less fortunate than you. And when you're ready to act like a man, then you and I'll have a talk, man to man. How's this one? I haven't heard a sound out of him since you left. I reckon he's got a lot of thinking to do. I think I'll just stick my head in and see if he's all right. Well, I wouldn't do that, Becky. I think he's had enough talking to for one day. Hopefully some of it will sink in and he'll be all straightened out tomorrow. Anybody. I know that, but I had to tell. It's not your fault. I was one who broke the swear, and the Black Pirate Law says I'm the one who has to take the consequences. But I'm going to fix all that right now. I'm headed for the Pike House. You're crazy or something? I have to find the stranger's grave. It's the only way I can prove to people that I was telling the truth. Well, they need any help. I don't want you to get in any more trouble than you're already in. Black pirates are supposed to stick together. We better round the pudge. We'll be right there. Hurry up. Come on, Israel. 
like your shirt. It is a shirt. Israel, the shirt is covered with dried blood. Do you think it's a stranger's? Could be. Could also be Zach Pikes. He must have been covered with blood after carrying the strangers at graveyard. Yeah. And I bet he buried his clothes here so nobody could ever find the blood stains on him. Maybe there's more. Good. You. You're gonna be sorry for everything once my pa gets hold of you. I don't think you heard right, boy. You're never gonna see your pa again. Now let's go for a walk and bring those digging tools with you. You're going to need them. What's your name, boy? My name is Brown. Homer Brown. Ma'am. Don't ma'am me, brat. Politeness ain't gonna get you nowhere. Let's stop talking and get it over with. I want to put them on the far side of the yard. I need you to hold a candle. Come on. I'm getting tired. 
gig. You haven't got much digging to go. Keep at it. Then you can have a long, long rest. Can we have some more light over here? Just keep digging. Give him some more light. Inside, start packing. this time. You might as well come out. I'll find you anyway. Look now, I'm tired of fooling around with you kids. Come on out. It is. Pa, did they ever find out who the stranger was? His name's Sam Bedford, Israel. Evidently, he and Pike were in the army together and were mixed up in an army gold theft. Pike disappeared with the gold. The army caught up with Bedford and he served a term in prison. When he got out of prison, he went looking for Zack Pike for his share of the gold. Yeah, that's about it. From there on, you boys know the story better than anybody. Wow. Wait till everybody hears about this. We'll probably all be heroes. Well, you'll be heroes to the Army when they get that gold back, that's for sure. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if they made you boys honorary colonels. 
Honorary colonels? Wow. Golly. The Black Pirate sails again! Dizzle. Yes, sir? I think I owe you an apology. You do? Mm-hmm. For that talking to about those tall tales. Oh, that's all right, Pop. I guess I'll tell a few more tall tales before I'm through. So just give me credit for the next time. To the cave! <gasps>